Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So before we get started, I just want to remind everyone, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. So that way you get alerts whenever I upload new content. This is a haul video for my little scrapbook store and let's get right to it. I'm so excited. Um, I know it's been a minute since I shared any new product I got in, but I want to definitely share with you guys uh, a few things that I got. Um, I started out by getting this stamp from Catherine Pooler. It's the calendar where you can make um, projects for people. Um, you can use it on scrapbooks. You can use it on cards. You can use it on so many things. If you're a journaler, um, obviously you can bullet journal. You can do all that. Um, so I got that. And then um, she also had this stencil from Catherine Pooler. And look at that. I love that texture. And I think that would be fun to create like on a background, like I said, either way on cards or scrapbook pages. Um, and you can use your paste with it, inks, you can use your blender brushes, so many options. Stencils really are really versatile and um, they don't take up much space. So of all the things to be like obsessed about, uh, stencils are really good. <laughs> And then um, she had these other two stencils from um, Picket Fence Studios. Now this one is a brick wall. And if you can see it, the bricks are actually a really decent size. Um, this would be good to do like a little bit of texture, you know, behind a photo on a scrapbook page or um, on your card to like have your uh, focal image kind of stand out. Uh, it's definitely a, a a fun little stencil to, ha to have in your repertoire. <laughs> so the reason I went to her live sale, which Michelle always has a live sale. Um, she does them on Facebook. So uh, definitely click over, come join the group. Um, and you guys can have a lot of fun with uh, the live sales. But she showed us um, this sort of like as a sneak peek. Uh, the design team and as soon as I saw it I was like oh yeah I'm there it's called rainbows it's a slimline stencil but I just I love it I, that, you... <clears throat> now obviously doing like a lot of little colors and actually making them rainbows I think you would probably lose your mind because it's so uh, tiny some of the sections but you can really have fun and it's I think it'll create a really pretty pattern on your paper so those were the stencils and the stamp. Then I got this from Pink and Main. Initially during the live sale, I opted not to get it because I have the um, tailored expression brushes and it comes with a, sort of like a brush cleaner in with the, if you do the whole kit, you know, and I barely use it. But I liked the size of this one. I like the fact that it was a little bit bigger. It kind of has a handle where you can put it on your hand and makes it easy to like hold it and uh, clean your brushes. I was trying to find one real quick. Um, but you can use these brushes. Your um, Not a lot of people use them anymore, but there are the ones that have the soft bristles. Oh, I should have pulled one out. But you can use it to clean any brush that you have. And it's really, it's silicone, so it's easy to clean. Um, yeah, so I think it's a good thing to have for your stash. Now, also from Picket Fence, I got some paper glazes. I've never had these before, um, but I thought this pink, super cute, looks like cotton candy. Look at that. You just want to dive right in there. <laughs> Oh, I got issues. And then I also picked a silver. Which, I mean, can you go wrong with silver? I don't know. I need to look to see if she has it on her website, if she has a gold. Because really, I should get that for my collection as well. Um, and then I got this. Um, it's a paste. It's from TCW, I believe. And it gets tacky when it dries tacky when dry gel medium and you can use your um foils with that and uh I forget what the other stuff is it's kind of flaky 
you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I also got this tonic glue. I have a slight obsession with glues. My favorite is art glitter glue. That's my ride or die. I keep it on my desk all the time. But then other crafty glues come out and I'm like, well, let me try this one. <laughs> let me try this one. Let me get this one. And I always go back to the art glitter glue. So I'll leave that there. And let me see, what else was I grabbing? Okay, so I'm going to move those out the way real quick. And then I want to show you guys this other thing I got from her. Um, Brutus Monroe, um, I've used their stamp cleaner for a while now. Um, it was one of the few stamp cleaners that really doesn't bother my throat there was a some that I got from big box stores that I didn't like and um when I found the squeaky clean I loved it because like I said it doesn't bother me and actually I had a refill that I really need to get refilled um so when they had this which was the it's actually the brush cleaner and it's in a hucky hucky <laughs> honeysuckle scent um, I grabbed it because I was like, you know, this is really nice. And so, yeah, we got that to go with the brush cleaner. I also got the new, not the new, the Rustic Wilderness Distress Spray. I'd already gotten the Kitsch Flamingo um, as well. Uh, I don't think I shared when I got the Kitsch Flamingo yet. Or if I did... um. Yeah, no, I'm sharing it all here. Yeah, so I got that. I got the Kitsch Flamingo and the Embossing Glaze. And I'm trying to think, I'm trying to find my other pink. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. The uh, Distress Ink Pad. Um, I got the Kitsch Flamingo in that as well. Um, I think I missed... The pad on the Rustic Wilderness, I already have it on my wish list. Um, I also got the Peppermint Scrub uh, ink pad, and then there it is, the Distress Oxide in the Kitsch Flamingo. So we got that too. So out of those three, um, I think she's going to be getting in the mini cubes because those just came out not too long ago. I know um, she has them on order and as soon as she gets those, I will be getting them because I definitely need the uh, distressed cubes because I have the original, all the original colors. So as he does the new colors, I definitely want to add those. So here's our little haul. I really like the, everything that we got. It'll, it'll be fun to play with, especially with the stencils. I got the paper glaze, so that goes with it. So thank you guys again for joining me today. I will have down below links to the online store and the Facebook group. And definitely come on over and join us. Um, hit that thumbs up and leave comments down below. I look forward to reading what you guys uh right there and I'll see you with the next video.